In this video, I'm going to describe some new features that we've added to the ADS-2000, specifically the blue backlit display and the gas sampling hose. But before I get into all that, I want to show you what you should expect to find in the box when you first get your ADS-2000. Let's start with the Unilim Bain circuit. That's included there. A pretty standard oxygen hose. A to and from vaporizer hoses. These are silicone vaporizer hoses. A mask adapter, which will allow you to mask your patient down. We normally offer uh, 14 feet of scavenger tubing. For this video, I'm going to be using a, a shorter piece of tubing with an F air canister just for display purposes. We offer a test lung which allows you to practice before you use the uh, ADS on an actual patient. We have the gas sampling hose which I will get into more detail later and of course a power supply. This is how you connect the back of the ADS 2000. Oxygen goes here to the vaporizer goes here. From the vaporizer goes here. If you'll notice, each port is a different size. You'll never have to worry about confusing these connections. Here we have the scavenger out port. For this example, I have an F-Air canister, which I will connect later. Connecting the front of the ADS is just as simple. I'm going to start with the gas sampling hose. We added this hose to better register the breath of small animals and to increase the overall precision when ventilating and delivering anesthesia. That connection goes right here. Into the system. It connects to the elbow. Next we have the reading circuit. It's a Unilim Bain circuit. The inspiratory goes on the top. Expiratory goes on the bottom. connects like this. This would ordinarily connect to your breathing circuit, uh, to your endotracheal tube, but in this particular case we're going to use a test lung just for demonstration purposes. Connecting the rest of the ADS is just as simple. Here we have the to and from vaporizer hoses. That connects here. That connects here. Simple as that. Oxygen. Connects here. We have just done everything we need to do to set up the ADS-2000. You've seen us connect all of the connections in the back, all the connections in the front. Now, when you first turn the machine on, it goes to a self-diagnostic test. You cover your finger over the breathing circuit and turn it on. It is now conducting a self-test. Uh, Once it approves that, to, oh, it's telling us we have to switch our button to set. It automatically defaults to 20 kilograms. That's our starting point every time we turn the machine on. Now we connect our intubated patient. In this case, our intubated patient is a test lung. So we connect our intubated patient or test lung. Now we have to set the weight. And we do this by just pushing a button up here, either the up or down. In this case, we're gonna push the up. We're gonna to go to 24 kilograms for this patient and turn it on. We are now ventilating and delivering anesthesia to our patient. 
If you need to change any of the breathing parameters, you can do that manually at any time. You have the flow rate, breaths per minute, and peak inspiratory pressure, which can be changed any time during the surgery. We have a breathe button, which allows you to manually deliver a breath any time. And we also have a fill and hold button, which will fill and hold the lung to the peak inspiratory pressure you have set and maintain it until you let go of the button. That concludes our introduction of the ADS-2000. Again, keep in mind the changes that we uh, came up with are the backlit blue display and the gas sampling hose.